Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. I wanted to try this pre-recording. Um, I do love um, chatting with you all, but I just wanted to see how this was and try to get a video out there at least this week or this month. Uh, um, a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about, of course, was the Mothers Against Dr Drunk Driving um, situation with Alicia, how they um, took the partnership away, which I'm very um, happy about. And I'm trying to get this thing up here. So already I'm having issues. Um, let me see. I gotta get this thing off. Damn it. Okay, here we are. Okay, because I want to bring this up. Here we go. Okay, so this was the response after many of you um, brought it to Mothers Against Drunk Driving's attention that Alicia Pry wasn't their best choice to represent um, their mission. As we know, um, Alicia, her birthday video um, which I actually want to play it again for you guys, maybe who haven't seen it, or it's been a while to remind you all when she allowed her son, her eldest son, to drive a 15 passenger van home from dinner after Alicia and Josh were inebriated. Now, of course, her stance came to her rescue and said, well, you know, he has his permit and they're, they're adults and he can drive with adults. And yes, but not inebriated adults, because then who's going to they're there to, you know what I mean? Like you need a responsible adult with you. If the adult's sleeping while a teen driver with a permit is driving, probably not the best. I mean, they're supposed to be there to say, hey, slow down. Hey, watch out this and that. Josh and Alicia being drunk, how are they supposed to do that? And I want to, I'm going to show this in the clip and, you know, I was going to bring it up now, but I think I'll bring it up when I play the video. It's something about what I wanted to talk about was how, you know, before they got into the van, um, they were with another couple. I don't know if it's like Josh's brother and his wife or whoever, but they didn't look like they were drinking. So it just goes to show that Alicia did that for content because she knows that it would rile people up or, you know, um, her son loves the attention he gets online. So she wanted to make content, you know, around him. But when I was, I want to say when I seen clips of them in the parking lot, that couple did not look inebriated. So why didn't they drive them home? Do you know what I mean? And I'll show the, I'll show the video so you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the response from Mothers Against Drunk Driving was, we are grateful to members of the MAD community who brought issues related to our partnership with Doherty Dozen to our attention. We failed to do our due diligence. In the future, we will work harder to ensure our partners both represent and advocate for MAD in a positive way that brings awareness to the issue of impaired driving and underage drinking prevention. Effective immediately. We have ended our partnership with Dr. D. Dozen. We are also re-examining our vetting process regarding social media partnerships. We remain committed to victims, survivors, and families working to keep our roads safe. This has been a learning moment for us, and we acknowledge MAD must, will, do better in the future. So I think that's awesome. Um, kudos to those who brought it to their attention and stayed on top of it until um, this action was completed. You guys are rock stars. Um, okay, so I want to play. Um, I want to play Alicia. It's spend my birthday with me behind the scenes of making something or other. I can't see it, but we'll get it up here in a minute. So let's get this video up. Here is how I spent my 42nd birthday Turn it up. with my family of 14. It's the yard sign Josh put up. I'm pretty sure Alicia put that up. <laughs> you know, I got Duncan for breakfast. I got... Hey, what happened? Got two dozen donuts. 
and add in some grapes so we pretend we're healthy around here. Yeah. Barbara came and cut all the boys' hair. Josh surprised me with fancy new sheets for the bed in this really pretty blue color. They're just so soft. They're like from Walmart. Okay. Do I know? Carly makes me watch her song and dance show um, several hours ago. Okay, so watch it and enjoy it. You're only this age once. Okay, I'm going to jump to the hibachi. Okay. Here we go. Somewhere. Do you want a high chair for Amelia? Okay, so it's this couple I was talking about that went out to dinner with them, and I don't think they were drinking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I can't believe she's fucking recording like that. This poor hostess. And all these people, like, she's invading their privacy. I would be so keep mad. Going. Yep, keep following. Keep following. Whoa. It's hey. private. It's a private room for a celebrity family vlogger. There's, like, a lot of this poor, poor hostess. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just take whatever spots left. This couple right here. Well, and their daughter. I do not think they were drinking, so why didn't she have them I mean, drive them I home? I kind of like to sit near Josh, but I don't have to. Okay. I just want to show you guys the chaos. The chaos before the storm. <laughs> Excuse me. We love showing Nevaeh. Is that Nevaeh? He is talking to random people. Awkward. She looks uncomfortable. Was it the way he's sitting? I don't know. Hey, Sean, what are you drinking? She's already drunk as a don't, and it's only 20 minutes. Oh, y'all, I love y'all. Oh, maybe they're, I don't know, is that alcohol? Well, that's not alcohol right here. He hates it. He hates everything about this. So it's this couple here at the end. Yes. She is hammered. Do you want chicken, steak, or shrimp? He must have pre-gained to sell here. Okay. Okay. Uh, she'll probably have soup. It's a fucking hour to order. Oh. 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 Come on. oh, my God. Oh, my God. She cuts it down with the video? There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. You're right. I didn't get the gong. See how she pointed no. that camera at you know who? I need to go ahead. No, I got a picture in there. Nevaeh is the picture. <laughs> Kids are just running wild in the street. That's a. Uh, Concern number one. Oh my god, I never noticed this part of the video. All this money in her kids are dressed like little ragamuffins. Mom, the food is in the van in the front seat. This couple here. Happy birthday to her. 
why couldn't one of these adults drive that van home and she or he could have followed the vehicle? Do you guys know what I mean? So that just goes to show that this whole thing was banned by her for her content, letting Alex know. And it cost her a sponsorship with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. All good? Yeah. You got them all. Okay. Just covering your bases. Alex is Alex driving. Alex is driving because he has perm his permit. And Dad and I both drank drinks at dinner. I'm not a four. The benefits of having a teen driver. With a permit. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He's going to be 16 in a couple months. Yeah, he's scary. Yeah, I'm scared of you driving with him. Okay. Doesn't he have the van in reverse right now? And he's saying he's scared for James to drive. This is technically my birthday cake. Um, Pam and Marissa made these cupcakes for me as a surprise, and I love them. Thank you for spending the day with me and for everyone who made my birthday extra special. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. So, yeah, that was the birthday video. Um, that was the birthday video, uh, I think, is what Mad may have watched or was referred to in making this decision to end their sponsorship with um, Alicia. Um, again, I guess my concern is that we saw those two um, adults that were there. So it's like, why couldn't one of them drive that 15 passenger van with all those children home? Um, and those that said, like Auntie Lauren was saying, oh, she only had a couple of drinks. Um, no, the video show, or she only had the, what she say? One or something in the beginning. But it's like, no, she was absolutely hammered, inebriated to the point that she couldn't drive her 13, 12, 10 children home that night. Um, and I guess I'll reference back to... Um, Heather with just the bells, how she went back into her content and deleted a lot of stuff that she was ashamed of, um, that she had posted. And, you know, I know we had thought maybe Alicia would do something similar saying that she was going to change the direction of her channel, but that never happened. Right. And so now people bring up all these things that she's done, um, and it's being used now against her. Right. We can pull up these videos and say, no, you're wrong. There's a video of it. It's still up on her channel. Um, but I think to Alicia, she loves this, right? She loves staying relevant, even if it's embarrassing, even if she's losing sponsorships over it. Whatever keeps her relevant and that money in her AdSense account with Google, right? Um, because I don't think they would be able to survive without it now. Um, Josh would for sure probably file for divorce if he had to carry that whole household without Alicia's income. Um, so Alicia's at a point now where if it's good or bad publicity, she's going to take it. Um, not, not, a good, uh, not a good look. Not a good thing if you ask me. Um, this was actually, I found this, um, I know in like a few other, I don't know, a few videos back that I did, I was saying how, you know, when you Google Alicia's name, a lot more negative articles are coming up about her. It used to be very heartfelt. She was doing such a good job where she was doing with, you know, these, um, these children. Now, when you Google her name, it's so bad. Right. Um, and this is what, I mean, it was from last year, but I love, I think it's, I don't know if they're from the UK or what, but I love the articles they do on Alicia. Um, 
because they're so raw, right? They don't sugarcoat anything. So I kind of wanted to share this one that I came across. And again, it's like a, it's like a year old, but this is the kind of stuff that's popping up now when you when you Google Alicia's name. It's no more oh the savior of a mother. Um, it's them like you know bashing what she does. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Um, I don't think it's this one. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, so it's this article from, I guess, Newsweek. Food and drink. Mom of 12 reveals her family's supersized McDonald's order. Call ahead. And this was uh, oh, almost exactly a year ago, 519 of 22. And it goes on to say, Mother of 12 has revealed that her family's supersized McDonald's order looks like. Oh, revealed what her family's supersized McDonald's order looks like. Finally confirming that there really is never enough sweet and sour. Alicia Doherty from New York regularly posts about her life parenting. And it lists all the children and their ages, um, including the kinship children. Alicia, 41, and her husband, 43, have four biological children. They adopted an additional six and recently took in two foster children. Ooh, I don't know if they should have used that term, but hey, Alicia puts it out there. So that's how people perceive it, I guess. Mom shares her daily routines on TikTok and Instagram under the name at Doherty Dozen and recently revealed what they order from the fast food restaurant. And here's it. four Big Macs, one chicken nugget meal, one chicken sandwich meal. And we already know um, none of this probably gets eaten. I mean, by the time she's done setting it up, it's rock hard because those fries are only good for about the first five minutes. Um, so is anything else you order from there. So screen grabs from Doherty Dozen's videos. The mom shared a clip revealing what her McDonald's order for a family of 14 is. The clip shared on Tuesday said, Red, ordering McDonald's for my family of 14. So he's got to add that in there, right? The wow factor. The video, which can be seen here, has already amassed more than 2.5 million views and was captioned, even ordering at McDonald's is an adventure with a large family. What's your McDonald's order? Well, it's not 75 Big Macs, Alicia. As she chats to her cashier, to the cashier, she orders four Big Mac meals, with Sprite, one chicken nugget meal, one chicken sandwich meal, eight Happy Meals, eight, eight I'm sorry, extra fries, and a six-piece nugget box. In the comment, she explained who ordered what, writing Big Macs, Josh, Alex, James, Deshaun, Nuggets, Nevea, Chicken Sandwich, Me, the rest, Happy Meals. So notice what she did here. She named off the favorites, right? We have, of course, her husband, then we have this child, surprise that one was there, and then the last two, right? The ones that are commented about the most on her page. And she says, the rest, Happy Meals. <laughs> well, she didn't specify how much it costs. Oh, yes, she does. Believe me, she's not afraid to show what she's spending any time. Oh, my God, she didn't specify my ass. The amount on the till hit $91. It is, it is thought Alicia had some gift cards to redeem to offset the cost. My, <laughs> she's, she's a millionaire from exploiting her kids online. She didn't use no damn gift cards to redeem. Sharing the same clip on Instagram, she added, this is our basic lunch order. If I'm ordering dinner, I'll add on extra burgers and nuggets, sometimes milkshakes or ice cream. And no, you buy the milkshakes and ice cream and Happy Meals for their afternoon snack, Alicia. And there is never enough sweet and sour. They have to drown out the taste of the food sitting there for 45 minutes for you to take pictures, record it, post it. What's your McDonald's order? Thank you at McDonald's for the gift card. Oh, so they gave her the charcuterie board. Oh, okay. Wow. I take that back. I didn't read this before I decided to read it on here. I mean, I read halfway through. I didn't read the whole thing. Wow. So it's for content. And they gave her that charcuterie board. Ugh. 
That's why she uses it. She probably is somewhat sponsored by McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Commenting on the Mama Mammoth Hall crazy something. Thank you for not holding up the drive through with a big with that big of an order. Angela Michelle Pope commented, my family is six, used to cost me 50 bucks. Can't even imagine what that costs. While something or other asks, do you have to call ahead? Someone joked, I just know they messed something up in that order. Well, it was basic as hell. It's not like they asked for no onions or no cheese or something. Someone else advised, girl, get the app and use them coupons. Another comment, wrong day for the Macas employees. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How do you remember it all? You're awesome. She probably just shouting shit out and they eat there. I'm not kidding. Once, twice, three times a week, if not more. So she has that order down pat, believe me. And she has nothing else to do or remember. Everything she does is related to her content. So if she's filming for it, she's going to remember it. That's something she'll never forget. I would have quit right there and then. Me too. Me too. Gosh. Remember when she was cleaning out her fridge and she had bags and bags and bags of expired milk from McDonald's that her family didn't drink? It just went to waste. Yeah. Screen grabs from the Doherty's video. The mom looks after 12 children who are adopted, fostered, and biological. What does that matter? What does it matter? Foster children, adopted children, they need to eat too. They're the same. Stop labeling like labeling them. My gosh. I don't even want to know the price. The fact that I could eat all, the fact that I could eat all without hesitation. Did they mean eat all of that without hesitation? Well, TikToker advised, I recommend using McDonald's app to make quick orders or orders quicker, to which Alicia responded, it takes longer because they max out the app order at 20 items. So then I'm placing multiple app orders. Okay, well, there's 13 people in your house or 14. So get them all one meal you would stay within their guidelines. Damn, but no, she has to overdo everything. Everyone needs six fucking burgers a piece, seven boxes of McNuggets a piece. It's just fucking waste and waste. According to a report from Food Service citing the top 500 chain restaurants report by market research firm, McDonald's was a leading quick service chain restaurant, okay? There's popular Starbucks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think that's it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that because a lot of these, um, a lot of these articles now are with the snark and I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. Before I go, because we got, we didn't see this together. It's been all over, but we haven't seen it together. I want to, um, play the pool nachos real quick. <laughs> Disgusting to say the least. And the BPA in those pools, not very healthy for those children. And it looks like a hungry pack of like children in a third world country waiting for rice to be brought out for them um, because they're starving. Again, they're dressed um, like ragamuffins. Okay. It's just, it's sad and it's disgusting to say the least. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of chips, nine, ten. Ugh. Just, oh, God. Uh, whole tomatoes whole olives, and then oh, I have to watch it again. There's something about this. I don't know if her intent was to go viral um, or to ruffle feathers, um, come up with some new concept like the spaghetti table that she did 
um, or if she's just hungry for views because this did get about, what, 266,000 likes so far. Um, but I mean, just, just the way she had everyone kind of piling, like waiting for it. So imagine she's like over here off to the side, right? Being like recording herself, filling this plastic pool up. But then all the children are like waiting patiently over here on this mat for her to bring them their trough of food. It's just the way, like, I understand, like, if she's trying to be innovative or start some type of weird freaking trend. I mean, there's weird trends happening all the time. But it's the way she had the kids waiting for it. Like, they are some farm animals waiting for her to pull their trough of food over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that was the most upsetting and degrading of the whole video. Um I mean, no one looks happy. Alicia wouldn't even put the whole damn chip in her mouth. She was so disgusted. Um, it's just, I mean, almost no words for it, you guys. Almost no words for it. All right. Well, like I said, I wanted to try out this pre-recording just to see how it goes. Um it might be a total doozy, but I have a live scheduled for tomorrow. So that way we could chat and, um, yeah. But anyway, um, oh, I was going to play that laundry video, but oh my gosh, it's just two hours of her just sitting there in silence, in silence. Like you can't even put it in the background to listen to, like as you're getting shit done or whatever, because she even says like, Sorry, I'm not talking. It's just, I'm so focused. Focus on fucking folding laundry. What do you got to focus on? It's like, no, Alicia, like you don't have anything interesting going on because you're on social media constantly, like chronically online. And so because of that, you're not reading books. Like you're not talking to other parents. You're not going to a job outside the home where you can have adult conversations. Like you stay in your house and record everything and you won't speak to your children because you're, you fear them speaking back and ruining, ruining your content. So it's like you do everything in silence so that nobody bothers you so that you could just record and post and get paid. And it's really sad. Like I just suggest like getting a girlfriend or reading a book or Finding another hobby that's not online, like social media. Um, I think you need it. I think it's good for you. I think you're getting a little too desperate um, with the Mothers Against Drunk Driving, the Nacho Pool, just weird shit lately. Um, you got to be careful because I feel something. Well, actually, I'm not going to say you're going to be careful. I hope you do either change the way you're doing things or just get off the platform. Um, but you're heading, you're headed there really soon. Um, because you're just, you're careless. Now you're as careless as you were your birthday dinner, letting Alex drive everyone home. And you've continued that reckless behavior ever since. So, all right, that's my speech. Okay, guys, thanks so much for being here today, watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow on my live. Bye.